<laughs> Which you're welcome. <laughs> Will he be walking out or flying out? <laughs> Are you all right? We don't know. Uh, come on now. Mr. <laughs> Alfred Lipton. Here he is with a hundred. That's in the uh, Coleoptera family that he played in, not in the Lepidoptera family. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you guys hear that? That's the Coleoptera family, which sings with the King family on Saturday <laughs> night. And uh, that's it. Ah, Mr. Lipton. Well, I brought uh, you a few things here, Johnny. Is like lep Lepidopterist, is the Lepidopterist correct. is correct. Uh, the, the order of Lepidoptera, which is split into two halves, uh, Heteroceras and Ropalocera. Butterflies and moths. <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to kind of go slow with this. Just plain old butterflies and moths. Butterflies and moths, actually. Yes. And this is a big hobby around in the world, It's isn't a it? tremendous hobby. It's a hobby you can get into with uh, very little money. Just a net. <laughs> <laughs> and some sneakers, I suppose. Right. And you're, you're on your own. You know, funny you should say that. Uh, John Landy, the famous miler from New Zealand, uh, used to train that way. He's a, famous, he's a butterfly collector. Is that right? Yeah. He's Cross right. country, you mean, with a net right. and... Uh... In New Zealand. Hey, well, what do we got here? Well, we have here a case here of some of our uh, rare specimens. I'm going to uh, cover off. Oh, okay. The That's right. They're all uh, been taken care of. And, uh... <laughs> How do you do this? I don't think anybody wants to know. <laughs> oh, after we've relaxed it, this one happens to be a moth. It's uh, a Cynthia moth from the wilds of Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And after we've uh, relaxed it, so to speak, after it's uh, expired, we relax it and then pin it to the board like this in this fashion. And after we're finished with that, well, we have a whole kit that we make at Butterfly Art for this, which gives the... I used to do this as a kid. Amateur, sure, the amateur lepidopterist, he has everything in here necessary for mounting butterflies. We used to use, was it chloroform? Well, you can use, we use a form of chloroform that's uh, much less dangerous than uh, chloroform is. And uh, this is something, I want to see some of the examples of this. Yes. This is wow. very interesting. When you get a load of these two cats? Yeah. No, I didn't know that, I didn't know that they came. Are, uh, I did not know that they came this large. That's called a uh, Hercules. That's a Cusinocera Hercules. They're from New Guinea. And a very interesting thing about this, for years we thought they were extinct. Uh, what happened was our collector ran across a tribe in New Guinea, and they were toasting the cocoons. And it was a food delicacy. So we traded them tobacco for the cocoons. And uh, we came up with these. Uh, these are probably uh, next to the atlas moths, the largest moths in the world. He has some tiny butterflies. People will go to great lengths, won't they, to oh, find yes. the, oh, yes. you know, uh, expeditions uh, like if you were... Oh, yes. Uh, Rothschild is a great butterfly collector. He spent millions on collecting butterflies. That's fascinating. All you really need then is a net and a little kit, and you're in business, huh? Right. Right. Uh, well, I can just show Johnny this for interest. Uh, when Khrushchev came to this country... Uh, uh, I don't I'll think we can off of that one. I can take it off this one. We're getting some reflection, I, I think. Well, uh, there goes oh, Khrushchev's... Uh, oh. Sergei Khrushchev... Oh. Oops. Well, we'll get him. Don't worry about it. There goes the sulfur. This was by Khrushchev? Uh, yes, Khrushchev's son. Is a butterfly. We're getting a little now breeze Now we got here. a little breeze coming up over there. Khrushchev's son is a butterfly collector, and he came to us and for see butterflies. These the... And then we gave him these. And we gave him a big selection of butterflies, and he mailed these to us from uh, Russia. And you can see they're really uh, poor quality. Sorry. They're poor grade. And they're, uh, they just don't make the same kind of butterflies. No, they I don't. Guess. As a matter of fact, it was very surprising. We're ahead of them in butterfly yeah, store. Thank you. <laughs> We're closing the butterfly gap. The butterfly gap is well closed uh, hey. between us and Russia. Let me take a break here, and we'll come right back. Okay. Now the smiling sugar bowl presents a word from men's best friend, the ostrich. <laughs> Every living, loving critter feels a little bitter when he adds a little sugar to his life. Every brother, mother, sister, every miss and every mister has an energy transmitter in the sugar that adds sparkle to his life. Bam! That's crazy Sam! If you buy soft drinks with artificial sweeteners and give them to active children, you may be hiding from the facts. One, children burn up energy fast. Two, sugar restores energy fast. 
And what better, more refreshing way to get sugar than this? He needs a no-sugar, no-energy soft drink like a kangaroo needs a briefcase. Give him a real soft drink with the energy of sugar. Every living, loving critter feels a little bitter when he adds a little sugar to his life. How come you stick your head in my sugar? Did you ever try to hide in an artificial sweetener? Now, what family of insects are we in now? Oh, is this uh, still, excuse uh, me. We're in Coleoptera now, which is uh, the largest order of the insects. And, uh, there are probably more varieties of insects than anything in the world, right? Right. And this one, this one is the largest order of insects, the Coleoptera family. They're, they're very weird. beautiful. Mm -hmm. This one right here in the center is uh, an elephant dung beetle, or a rhinoceroid dung beetle also. And uh, this is like a 17-year locust uh, cicada. They only, they only come out every 17 years? No, they only destroy every 17 years. What do they do the other? Oh, uh... well, they are very uh, placid. Go to Miami, relax. Oh, in the off season. <laughs> the off season, I suppose. And every 17 years, you got to get out. It's a deadly. Uh, no, not not too human. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the uh, I think the world's greatest uh, coleopterist is uh, David Rockefeller. Is that right? Right here, sure. He's a renowned expert in this. These three. Great oh, they're, they're used up. These are walking sticks. These are found in uh, New Guinea, Indo Australia. Region. Well, they live on trees and just take on yes, the identity. Look at right. this. Actually, uh, this is a porcupine walking stick. Mm, here's a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> to Johnny with love. This one will come out. I can take the cover off Ooh. this. That's a tarantula. Yes. Mm. How would you like to wake up under your crazy quilt some night and that's in bed with you? <laughs> you ought to see a meteorite pass through town. That'd be me. <laughs> Now, this, uh, strangely enough, is not as lethal as people are led to believe, That's right? Correct. That's correct. Uh, a They'll bite make you sick. Make you ill and make you vomit, I guess. And, uh, no, they might even kill you if you had contributory factors involved. I mean, uh, like But there are other ones. There's some like more that. dangerous, I think, guess things than this. Uh, this rot rates right up there with the most dangerous, that's with the scorpion. Yes, yes, that's a nice one. That's from Mexico. And, uh, do we have tarantulas in this country? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. We've got to get to the yes. don't we? Yes, we do. Want to cover him well, up? Cover him over. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want him to get out. Just now. in case he's still breathing. She's he's in a state of suspended animation now. Uh, I'd like to show you how we go about collecting these. Uh, All righty. Butterflies, Johnny, if I may. Are those uh, uh, we got a, a live a live butterfly? Yes. yes. Gee, we have that's, these. Yeah, that's right. I forgot this thing was right in front uh, of me. Cecropias. Uh, as a matter of fact, they emerged yesterday, and I have a few cabbage butterflies and sulfurs in there. <coughs> But uh, here's the basic ingredient for butterfly collection, the collecting, is the net. And it's held in this fashion. Yeah. And when you go chasing your butterflies, you try to swoop them in the air. If you swoop them in the air, you have to turn the net over so you catch the butterfly in here. Uh, I'm pretty lazy, and I usually catch them like that. You know, just uh, go for them. Oh, like that's that, right. And that's right. And if you're right. you got it. You gotta have all the moves, you know. There's John, one. I'll start you off with a. Uh... Here, John, if you're going hunting. <laughs> oh, don't you think that's a little much? There he goes. I got a little cabbage job. Here he go. Go, go baby. So I try to catch. Well, go ahead, will you? You're supposed to fly. You told me you were gonna fly before the show. Had a point. Go get him. Mm. Oh, of course. <laughs> It just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Wait a minute. Be sport like, get him on the ride. <laughs> That's the way most butterfly uh, collectors behave, incidentally, Johnny. We're not cruel at all. Yeah, well, you know, We're just very gentle. Fair. He's a docile. She right. or he? Uh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> You got one that moves a little bit? I'd, I'd say this is a male. Yeah. I'd say it's a male. I don't think anybody would uh, right. argue. <laughs> that poor little thing just, well, you know. Big job. Oh, these, uh, Here we go. These are Cecropia. Cecropia. Now, uh, these don't eat, strangely enough. Oh, she, she's they not going well, anywhere. Do, no, yeah. she just laid eggs, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mommy. <laughs> yeah. 
But so I mean, when uh, they lay eggs, they, they die? Yes, they, they expire soon after. We That's don't die, like isn't it? <laughs> well, you, keep saying, you keep saying they expire, pass yes. away, don't they die? Well, because we're naturalists. We don't like to kill or uh, make they expire. them die. Like a funeral. They expire. expire but they expire. They expire. Come on, girl. I know it's a girl because she laid eggs. <laughs> but, uh, well, she, she just won't go with you, you know. But I'll, I'll put it down. Well, I can't. Uh... Go, girl. She's not a... <laughs> no, she hasn't expired yet. <laughs> she hasn't expired yet. No taps. Oh, she's not dead. She's How long? Just tired. How long will it take her to expire now? Oh, right? about uh, three or four hours, I would say. But that's all right. We'll save her. I for didn't mean to start off the show like this. No, <laughs> we'll save her for posterity. Hard to follow. A, hard to follow a dead butterfly. It's a moth. I seem so cheap and crass now. <laughs> Was your idea, killer? <laughs> These are cocoons that haven't uh, merged oh, yet. Oh, well, that one I could catch. Give me the net. No, but they're not ready yet. Oh, they're not ready? When will they come out? Well, these won't be Would ready they for hatch a few if days. we left them in the light? Oh, yeah, sure. Now, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.